on cue, stage three of Dr. Wily's castle. We're getting down to the wire, but the path only gets harder from here on out. Stage three is a lot more interesting than stage two is, thankfully. I apologize, I had a bit of a coughing fit. Let's hope it doesn't evolve into a wheezing fit, if you know what I mean. Starting things off, we have some frisk cannons that we need to deal with. Once again, the super adapter is your friend. And by extension, the rocket fist. Unfortunately, since there are few platforms for you to stand on, dodging their shots can prove difficult. Thankfully, they don't deal much damage. And two Sniper Joes, one was bad enough. And speaking of bad, there we are, invisible platforms, my favorite. Just like the ones in Cloud Man stage. But these are a lot tougher because the gaps are much wider. So it's very difficult for you to jump across them without taking damage because even if you avoid the death spikes, you'll probably land on a mat. And it's the return of the tri-propellants. I would highly recommend using the thunderbolt on them since that can get rid of him in one shot, but of course, I didn't switch to the Thunderbolt because I don't use any common sense. Okay, back to the Super Adapter here. Or not, we have a Spiral Gabiel that we must deal with. And thankfully, it's easy to do with the Danger Wrap. Now we can switch over to the Super Adapter. That platform is clearly solid, Rush. Why are you falling through? Okay, for some reason you only materialize on the ladders. That makes no sense whatsoever. Now, where was I? Oh yes, just like in the last stage, you'll be dealing with conveyor belts here. The reason why stage three can be so annoying is because there are tons of death spikes, and it's also the return of the coilings from Springman stage. Thankfully, they are easy pickings with Rocket Fist. Yet another Sniper Joe. Did Wily order them in mass? He must have. Okay, right here is where the path splits. And we are also introduced to these flying platforms. They count down from four. Once they reach zero, they explode. Go boom, blow up, and every other definition in the thesaurus. These platforms are rather dangerous. Because if you do fall, you'll end up on the death spikes. Now, you'll want to be careful right here, because this determines what path you are going on. I would highly recommend you take the top path because there are some goodies waiting for you at the very end and this seems like a good opportunity to use the rush jet something we have not used in a very long time and speaking of things not appearing for a very long time yay disappearing block puzzles but i'm not going to bother with them because i am going to cheat my way through this by using the rush jet and at the end of it all an e-tank a W tank and an S tank. Very, very helpful. Also watch out for those death spikes. And from Flashman, Flashman? What is this, Mega Man 2? No, Slashman. From Mega Man, blah, 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 blah. from Slashman stage we have Stegoras. That sentence was not very hard to put together. Why did I struggle with it? Remember, it takes a lot of hits. Okay, I think we are ready. So after heading through the end gate, we're going to encounter a rather cool looking boss, I have to say. 
It's technically weak to the Slash Claw, but it's also weak against the Noise Crush. Doesn't take as much damage from the Noise Crush as it does the Slash Claw, but the Noise Crush has greater range. Say hello to Hanayaned Squared. It fires missiles at you, as well as a laser. You'll want to do your best to stay to the right as much as possible. That way you can avoid the majority of its attacks. The missiles have kind of a strange hitbox. If you don't jump on them, they'll crash into you and explode. So be very careful. I'm doing pretty well so far. Oh, until that moment. If you're worried about the missiles, you can also destroy them if they're getting too close. But I feel like I might need to use an E-Tank before long. Still, I'm doing pretty well. Make sure to uh, step to the left when it fires those bombs. But other than that, rinse and repeat. Nothing more to it. The hardest part of this battle is definitely jumping on the missiles and trying not to get hit. Okay, I got one more hit up there. Okay, yes, I'm going to need to use an E-Tank right now. You might also want to have a few weapon tanks on handy because this thing is a tank. I almost forgot to mention, if you decide to take the bottom path, you will face the Conigants again. If you forget what that is, that's the giant crab that appears as a mini-boss in Burst Man stage. And speaking of bursting, this thing should be going down pretty soon. Alright, about one more attack should do- Ow! That hurt. Of course, it doesn't mean one jot if I can't jump up on the missiles. Game, set, and match! Not bad. Not bad at all. Three stages down, and one to go. And oh boy, will we be saving the best for last. And if you've ever played this game, then you know exactly what I mean. See you guys next time.